Hello all, my name is Kyle, aka Upgrade. That's right, I recently just got my hands on the real Omnitrix, and it is awesome! I've got all the aliens from the classic Ben 10 series. This is a childhood dream come true, and I cannot wait to have some real fun with- No. No, not yet, I just got it! No, no, come on! So the picture might have been slightly photoshopped. But I can show you how you can turn yourself into Ben 10 as well. Let's go! I should also say, don't be afraid to put on your own copyright free music while you're working. There we go. So now let's go. So before we can even begin the magic, we needed something to work off of. So go ahead and set up whatever studio you might have. As you can see, it can be janky as all hell. You really just need one good picture from it. Also, make sure you're wearing a shirt without any text or graphics on it. This will make it a lot easier once we bring the picture into Photoshop. Now, set up your camera in the correct place and don't be afraid to ask your photography assistant for help focusing the camera. Bob here gets paid in cookies. The next thing you want to do is take an unnecessary amount of pictures so you can wind up only using one. Then take the chosen one and drop him into Photoshop, for it is his destiny. Then remove yourself from the background. The method I use is using a layer mask and then erasing an outline around myself. It's not the most efficient, but it works for me. Now we can begin the magic. The first thing we're going to do is change into the correct outfit using exposure layers. To apply an exposure layer, select it from here and increase the value until the shirt turns white, but still keep some of the creases. Clear the mask by pressing Alt Backspace with a black foreground color, and then make a selection with the lasso tool around the shirt. Then switch your foreground color to white and hit Alt Backspace again to fill in only the selected area. Now do the same thing for the stripes, except this time with the exposure layer, move the slider in the opposite direction from the first one. Then you can alt backspace everything and paint in the stripes on the collar, the sleeves, and down the middle. Perfect! I should have mentioned that wearing a watch when you take these pictures is essential to this project. If you didn't do that, well, I guess go and take more pictures and then start this video over. Once you do that, we are going to create the Omnitrix symbol using simple shape tools because it's just the hourglass on a gray circle. Then we're going to distort it and apply it to the watch face by erasing the watch face itself and applying it underneath. The next step is adding shadows with exposure and glow with the layer styles, which you can get by double clicking on the layer you want and going to inner glow. Then I repeated these steps for the background diamond later on. Now to apply the light rays to the watch, Take the lasso tool and select the area you want to shine. Then come over to the levels tab and shift it slightly upwards a small amount and add a small Gaussian blur. Now repeat these steps two or three more times, gradually making your selection smaller each time, but increasing the amount of levels and blur that you apply. Afterwards, you can apply a layer mask to the group of lights and with a soft round brush, paint away what you don't want. This way it looks like the glow fades as it spreads. Now, to make this project a bit more interesting overall, other than just watch go woo, we're going to add one of the classic aliens, like we're mid-transformation. I chose my personal favorite, Heat Blast, but you can choose whichever one you want, but the processes are going to be a little different, obviously. To begin, I took this rock texture I got from Envato Elements and erased the in-betweens from the main rocks. Then underneath, I applied an exposure layer to my arm to make it glow white hot. Next was using the hue and saturation filter to change the color of the rocks from white to the reddish brown color that the cartoon version has. And applying glow using the linear dodge parentheses add blending mode. And once I was done with this project, I went back and added some embers to my arms to give it a bit more fire. Finally was putting the image of Heat Blast on the Omnitrix. Now the original Omnitrix had just silhouettes of the aliens, but I decided to take creative liberties and go with the more 3D style of hologram that Alien Force used. To do this, I used the pen tool and created an outline around every single part. 
of Heat Blast. That means the basic silhouette, the face, the hands, the fingers, the toes, and every individual rock on his body. Why do I do this to myself? And finally, finally, combine all the layers using Control Shift Alt E and apply the Camera Raw, Raw filter. filter. I don't really have any tips for the Camera Raw filter other than just play around with each of the settings until you get something you like. I usually just put every slider at the extreme and then whittle it down setting by setting until I like it. And so that's how you turn yourself into Ben 10. Let me know what you all think of this tutorial. This is the first one I've really done. So I don't know how helpful it was, if at all. If it was, that's great. And I hope you got something out of this. If it's not, please let me know what I can improve on. I would kind of like to do more tutorials, but more of an entertainment kind of thing. Like some, inter some educational value, but mostly for like art entertainment. But that's going to do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out everything below and all that good stuff. And as always, have a maximum day. Goodbye.